Hey folks, welcome to the first ever installment of On the Worst. I am Santino, and I am the creator, producer, writer, uh, what else? Intern, uh, let's say office manager of this uh, channel, On the Worst, here on YouTube. Yeah, so this is my first time... Uh, should I do the HDR on your own? Yeah. Oh, mm, I did not. Oh, never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is my first time doing a uh, video gameplay recording slash video game content creating. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. Okay. She is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator, born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI, given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. Ooh, and that was the brilliant Lance Reddick, who was also in the uh, the previous game, playing uh, Silas, the, uh, the Silence or si Silas, Silent. I can't, oh, I haven't played the uh, first game, Horizon Zero Dawn, as was mentioned uh, in that uh, cool recap of the series slash intro. Yeah, so I forgot where I last left off. Because, damn, those... The cinematics of this game is amazing. So if you don't know, now you should. This is uh, being recorded and played on uh, the PS5. Uh, this game, I believe, is a PlayStation exclusive? But I don't know if the PC version is out yet by the time this uh, video is out. We'll see. We'll find out later. Um... So yeah, th like I said, this is my first time, this is my first ever series where I play a video game from start to finish. I'm not going to do 100% because that's just the nature of all of this. I'm not really the, uh, uh, an achievement hunter. Uh, I love playing video games, particularly story-driven narratives. Uh, per yeah, particularly story-driven narratives like this. And seeing the story out, figuring out uh, what's going on, uh, discovering arcs and whatnot. So yeah, that's, that's sort of the uh, mission and vision of On The Worst YouTube gaming channel, particularly playing games like this, narrative-heavy video games, uh, in order to just enjoy the story. And I'm here to be your friend to help uh, move that narrative uh, for people who want to see it played from my style and my perspective. So, uh, 
Well, uh, without further babbling, let's get in on to the game which I have. Well, before that, I'm gonna hit the settings first. Let's see anything that needs to be changed. Copilot, headspace. Uh, pretty standard. Pretty standard. Turn off tonight. It sounds. Um, No, that's part of the game. Yeah, favor me. Now, because I'm mostly recording this anyway, you guys won't even notice that. Uh, and I'm sure it doesn't totally detract again from the story of this uh, uh, amazing game. I mean, it looks incredible. Okay, so we're good. And now... We will enter the world of Horizon and uh, meet with Aloy. Mm. Let's start with a uh, normal. Mm. More of an explorer. All right, do normal. Uh, you know, baby's first uh, playthrough. I don't want to make a complete ass of myself. Wait, is ass a term that gets you demonetized? Oh, yep. You know what? Let's just watch this. Ooh. Jurassic Park intro. Yeah, the new Jurassic Dominion movie is coming out. Anybody excited for that? Let me know in the comments section. Forming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need a backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. The graphics in this game are so amazing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. 
I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <sighs> oh. If it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. Hello? That one was in your honor. How much time has passed from the first game? So, what are we doing? Well, grew a beard real quick. A really nice one, too. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually. But, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data data information on the device we've got a lot to cover um i'll have to explain everything as we go i wonder if those things could do wordle Damn, this game's beautiful. Like, shout out to all the devs. All the artists just involved in making this, like... Shall we? Just like the first one, like, the landscapes are just captivating. Look at that. Alright, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. All right, herb hunting 101. Time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Oh my gosh! Look at look look at this. Look at this. Look at the physics when she grazes her feet on the on the leaves. Like, look how freaking far we've come graphic wise. Technology wise with all of this like it, it it's mind-blowing and to think the first game came out like what almost five years to this day And this is where we're at right now I don't know if this game has ray tracing on but good gosh this look at the water fluid dynamics like we've come so f Come some from s so far from like when we've from when Halo introduced us to all those like crazy water physics that they introduced with the water splashing and whatnot. Man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got too excited. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Okay, let's enter Aloy. Okay. Swipe up. Look at that. See they? Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should. Right. Pokemon Safari vibes with the rocks. Yeah. Every time I do that, even in the in any just in any game where rocks are involved, I just think of the uh, that mechanic from the uh, Safari uh, games from uh, Safari mini games in the uh, Pokemon Game Boy games. 
Whoa. Ooh, what's behind the waterfall? Treasure. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Incredible. Oh, the blight. Are you okay? <coughs> Ew. Some of the blight is that a skull? No, no, you know. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. Are you gonna jump? Or go for a swim? Fastest way down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um. Think of it like. Wait, why don't I go there? That can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Hey. Noticed you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I am. Um, Life of an adventurer in the post-apocalypse. When you think about it, most post-apocalypses are another people's pre-apocalypse. Am I right? There we go. I think that was much better and more preferred than leaping into the uh, leaping into the unknown. Though uh, that would have been much more cinematic. Huh. Oop! Nope. Ew. Check what's behind the water. Oh, these fishies. Nothing here. All right. Uh, let's head this way. Like a nice vista. Okay. Let's see what's behind there first. Because we're explorers. We gotta. You gotta check every nook and cranny. If gaming has taught me one thing, leave no stone unturned. Ugh. Ugh. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. Gives us significant damage. Not significant, mild. Mild at most. Significant for an intro, maybe. Ooh, oh, oh. Biodome. Okay. Hopping around just to see. Is this compelling gameplay footage? Ugh. Don't be judgmental, my guy. You'd do it if you knew the uh, treasures they withhold. Ugh. Wait, where? 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 Where's the carcass? Cool to be able to do this. Okay. 
Okay, I'm done exploring. Let's forward the narrative. This is, uh... This doesn't do much. Jeez. Then get a face mask. It's hard to breathe around this stuff. Like again, like it's oh man, this the design and layout of this world is just I'm it's it's crazy. Some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. But I can't reach it from here. Nothing a well placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. That lock is really stuck, huh? I just need to land one full drawn shot. That did it. After you. Transmission, the, uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. like a dead end. Down this way.
machines have it all alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. Find anything good? A few supplies. Focus know all that. It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The son came, put his people to work rebuilding the city. I set out to find you. Someone shot this machine, too. Oh. I see another ladder. Looks like it's stuck. The physics, uh, the, uh, what do you call that? The emotion capture for the climbing is really cool. Real, it feels pretty solid, especially when you're using the uh, PS5 controller. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah, I found my first one when I fell into a room. Uh -huh. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Nothing. All right. Scanning. Might not know what you will need out here. Gotta reload, craft more uh, ammunition. What's this? This. 
We'll be okay. Through here. Ooh, what's in here? This is the stuff I love. The far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but okay. Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with. Oh. Please hold for identity scan. Hmm. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Doctor I mean. Okay. I guess they have you met Elizabeth? Well, well, especially from the last game when you considered like everything that went down. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. What's it back here? Anything worth having? Ooh. Are there like is it... Piss off, ghost. We had our fun. I should be able to pry this open. Her and her, uh, I, was, I thought she was going to use her giant, uh, I called it a giant USB stick. Oh. This climbing gear. Hope it's a hat. Dropped in from above. Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found. Halo's oldest time. So old VH1 and MTV made a series about it. Or was it E? Where are they? Who did the Where Are They Now series? Uh, documentaries. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. I should take a look at on scanning. Like yeah, I really enjoy games with again saw it saw the mix my words solid storylines like really good storylines and where the lore is just sparsed out nicely and enough to really keep you keep your teeth like bit into the world where you're just you keep on trying to look for these little nooks and crannies that help make this world feel more lived in and more real or not i wouldn't say necessarily real but i don't know it, it feels like something more especially when you start to understand more of the world i think that's what makes things like star wars especially its expanded universe uh, with the legends aspect, you know, much more attractive because there's a piece for everyone and the interpretation of the uh, the folklore or the myth, if you will. Oh. Anybody remember Taibo? Like, oh, what happens if I destroy it? Nothing? Alright. Okay. Hmm. All right. Nothing. Oh. I'm assuming we're not yet in the Forbidden West, cause. Or are we? Wait, nope. These are palm trees. It's either I'm in Florida, which is way far west of the last game's location, which was in like the Midwest, Upper Midwest, Northern Midwest. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. 
If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Oh, come on. Maybe I can find something. Just a straight up dead guy. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram pro. Well, we're doing a Nathan Drake type uh, grappling hook. And the scare pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. All right. Oh, well, I'll read the exploring, but mm. Things to check out. the more informational treasure, the better it gets. Poor guy. I sounded sarcastic there. No, I, I generally do enjoy these type of things. Okay. The machine. So that thing over there. Could help fix the gears. Nothing. Okay. That was uh, not that much. Oh, over there. They had a little blacksmith situation going on here. Hmm. You'd think there'd be more stuff I could, uh, gather from that, but, mm. Machine cable. Stronger than mm, that. Aloy. That's, uh, a bold claim, but... Knowing you from the last game, uh, I, I, I believe it. Ooh, oh. Been a Nathan Drake Batman, uh, pull, pull caster. Okay. Okay. Pull caster. That's a good. It's got a good ring to it. L2. Okay. Oh, there L2. we go. Switch it up. A little more. Okay. Oh. Jeez, what the hell? Okay. Good thing that was sort of a mini cutscene thing where that had to happen that, that would have jeez could have taken my head out well, would have been so hilarious if that thing actually like just that would be the my first in-game death would have been that no Didn't turn up much. I better scan. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium. Okay, let's do something here, down, here, down, down there. Ooh. Auditorium. That. Guess we'll find out. I should open up my focus. Do I? Mm. See what I can find. Hey, that doesn't help. Hmm. I don't think 
Okay. Mm. I better scan the area. Ooh. Oh. That's cool. I might be able to get up there. It is. Wow. That worked. That whole cast is useful. Too bad there's only one. Can I enter here? Nope. Oh, shoot. Where's the ladder thing? Let's kick it. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's been before. <laughs> there we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. They're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes. Sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it... It never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Mm hmm. Terraforming. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they have to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability. New biocontagions. Rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable, and so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest. And join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. 
I just didn't know how. But... So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. Taylor's oldest time. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, it didn't work out for them in the end. That old bald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. All right. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Oh. Let's check around what's in this, uh... Tacos. One of the great things we were, uh, they were capable of we are still uh, speaking like I live in a world because again, amazing, immersive. Uh, yeah, just great immersive nature of the game. But yeah, tacos, definitely. And ramen. And adobo. Mostly food. If there's one thing that our uh, future people should know, it was our food that both sustained us and entertained us. Okay. Dude has some insecurities, jeez. Grab on. Nothing else? Anything else? Up there is there. Mm. Oh well. Oops, okay. Two. Dude! Seriously? Oh my gosh, give me space! This is this is giving me uh, that giant winter snake uh, vibes from Sekiro. Uh, oh, that thing is ooh. a game that could make you feel the enemy's size, like Shadow of Coloss Shadow of the Colossus, or Sekiro, or this is just incredible. Like you, even though you are a million times larger than these. Pixels in reality Making you feel diminutive compared to them is is quite a sensory experience And I'm here for all of it Oh here come the weasels Here come the weasels Up here. <laughs> Bruh from underground okay. you take the left one I'll deal with the one on the right okay <laughs> moving up I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear can't let it see me Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Can you just time these? Okay, bro. Come on. I'm wasting rocks here. Closer, you freaks. All right, come on. Seriously? All right, okay. Oh! Uh, okay, oh, because this is a tutorial, okay. Okay, my bad. I need to sneak up on it and take it out with my spear. Can you see me? I should scan it first. Okay, scan these bad boys. Go. Got him. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, bruh. Gotta get more of these. Can never have too much uh, ammo. Oh, okay, uh, I could have more than five rocks. Just something I thought I'd never say. But now it's uh, recorded for all posterity. Okay, oh my gosh. I did not know they could do that. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Whoa. Bruh. Okay. Yes. Got him off. I've been meaning to meet uh -huh. you. Noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry. Like seriously, his beard is really good. It's like you know, it's uh reminds me of uh what's his name? Black Klansman guy. Uh David, uh, what's his name? David Washington? Because he's Denzel's kid. Yeah, was it David T. Washington? Uh, I know he's Denzel's kid. Gotta recoup all of the berries I uh, I munched on. Oh no. <gasps> wow. Looks like the blight's made its way in here. It's up here. Usually there's cool stuff. Scan. Couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Hey. <gasps> Somebody was here recently. must have used explosives against the machines they managed to get a couple oh nope. oh where have I is that like the Star Wars sound the machines must have broken through for one of the droids <laughs> didn't have a chance to use it. Where's that coming from? Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Bro. Be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Yeah. Best idea I've had all day. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. I'm really hoping one of these things has like an item. You could use a, uh, what do you call it, the grap, uh, the caster thing, the pull caster, as a, uh, weapon, which should make sense, cause it, first time I used it, I, uh, as you can remember, my head almost got taken off. Yep. I think his name is John David Washington, right? 
The son of Denzel. Okay, I do have. Okay. Should have what I need to craft a trap. Okay, uh, yeah, now, now we're done. Wait, I'm not sure if I'm correct. Oh man, that's gonna eat at me throughout this gameplay. Until I figure out what his name is. Okay. Dude, why'd you go back there? Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. This track. Got to, cr got to craft one. Wasting so much rocks. Here. Now just a waiting game where we're on solid snake mode at this point. Especially with that whole uh whatever that thing's called, the uh open system. Mm, sorry, bud. Like seeing your old your own friend there going mmm. Craft more. Wait, no. I have one rock left. No, 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 I want the... Where's it, the head? Coming this way. Come closer. Oh, here he comes. On. Night, night. Alright. Come on, Scrounger. I think Scroungers are based off of hyenas by the looks of that like weird arched back. Let's keep going. Then. What was that? Wait, what was that? Did I grab it? Oh. 
straight up rock. Which I tend to use a lot, so... I wouldn't say jewelry is an old world valuable. Maybe, yeah, if you got it from the old world. Yes, you and me both. Did I open this? Nope. Alright. Where else do I gotta go? Here? Hmm. Yeah, her parkour feels a bit less smooth than in like most video game characters. But I like it because it feels real. Like you feel the weight of when she just drops down. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So yep. Storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Uh. What's in here? Dude, where the heck are you going? Come check this out. Oh. You can scan it with your focus. Hmm. This data Let's mentions see. the tech that Farzina huh. created with Zero Dawn. A lot. Freaky. A lot of glyphs. It doesn't explain how they got it back. I'll tuck this away to study later. I'll keep Is there more? Effort. All right. First, we gather. Looks like we've got to climb up. Is not well, it is a thousand years old. Here we go. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on either side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Mm hmm. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One, establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn, status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. 
If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now... The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. Wild. So that's what we have to okay, so now he's up to speed, and I hope some of you are already too, yeah. If you didn't pick that up from the, uh, from Lance Riddick's, uh, or Silence's, uh, recap from early on, then, uh, yep, she is a clone. She is a, she is a Boba Fett, if you will. Yeah. She is a Captain Rex. She is a Fives, if you're into Star Wars. I've dropped so much Star Wars references on this. Uh, yeah. As you can tell, I am a fan of the uh, franchise. But also, like, to compare it, weirdly enough, I feels weird comparing uh, franchises like this. But uh, in a way, since it's also part of the Sony family... Okay. Oh, but anyway, like, uh, yeah, so... In... Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Oh, yes, yeah, so, okay. Going back to the Sony family comparison thing, to that tr train of thought. Thanks. Uh... I... With the whole mentions of, like, Gaia, Zeus, Hephaestus, like... I'm picking up some God of War motifs too, I guess, you know? Especially when you consider that this is a child of Gaia, a child of a Titan, a child of a uh, deity, uh, you know, uh, with prominences of red in their character design. I'd say that Aloy is sort of like a, uh, a young, uh, <laughs> a young gender bent version of uh, Kratos. You know, and again, again, another game, ver uh, another game sequel I'm waiting for is uh, the next God of War, uh, Ragnarok, as it's properly pronounced in uh, its Scandinavian tongue, Ragnarok. If I'm s pronouncing it wrong, please, uh, please, please f feel free to cl correct me on that. Yeah, but only that, unless I tell you to. Then, yeah, but uh, if. If uh, if you want to point out certain things that I said on this stream, please feel free to 
uh, call me out, if you will. Let's try to keep creators and uh, in, uh, influencers, if I'm already technically part of that sphere, uh, in check, you know? Okay, so we could do that. All right. So yeah, anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely uh, waiting for the uh, upcoming game of a uh, God of War game, because yeah, again another Exosol. Ooh. I think we're almost back outside. Bro. Is there something up here that I could use? Okay. Got acid all over, so I can't really go too close to those bot. Oh. Sorry, buddies. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. <laughs> Looks like we can cross over here. That was close. That freaking thing pops out. Good. All right. Let's climb up here. Making sure I didn't leave any collectible behind. Then again, like I said early on, I'm not trying to get a hundred percent. Uh, Varl, where are you? Okay, there you are. Is he just talking <laughs> to uh, face while well, facing like a, a rock face? Okay, all right, Varl. Oh, 
machine patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Come closer, little weasel creature. No need to be scared. Come on. Come on. Weird. Okay. You too. You too, bud. Don't want him tag. What strike? Okay, finally. Some actual respect around here. Come on. Bro. That came out of nowhere. They have a path. Oh, it's going the opposite direction. Okay. Heck are you going, bro? Okay. Ease. Here. 
Oh, it's got the hyena laugh. Okay. Is it coming back in here? Oof. All right, we're hiding in plain sight from these. Thank you. Ooh, what's that? Machine ripped right through the wall. Oh, nothing. Okay. There's a ladder Weird glowing decal. Because mm. she knew you were a simp. Pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. What was up here? What is up here? Here we go. Oh, oh my. That's a big boy. Those are big boys. Osram will never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing. How? There she goes again. Figure it out. Just wait here. Boom! Aloy. Trust me. Little miss point break over here. Okay. Again, the droid sound. Okay. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Maybe I should stick to my spear for now. Save some ammo. Oh god. Okay. Bro. 
Oh, there's one here. Okay, for some reason, silent strike. Oh man. Okay, I'm bad. <laughs> I am wild at this. I'm bad, but at least I'm not horrible. Let's put it that. Okay? I think we can all agree on that. Okay, let's walk around, check around. What's happening? What's going on in this uh not much. What do these do? Golden thorn peppers. Do they add flavor to my food? Am I gonna sell them? Ew. Nope. Here. Oh, that one? Huh? I know, bro. Just got some new, uh. Get me up to the tower. Oh. oh. Almost forgot. Get up. Get on up. Hop on up. Okay, there's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I Okay, so jump tap and then didn't get up high enough. I better try to Ooh, okay. Up, up, up and away. Got it. Mm hmm. Okay, let's look around. Okay, I thought more launch points. We're just climbing up. Okay, we've got that. Where else? Oh. The storm's getting bad. Oh. Did not have pressed that. So all along there were three giant machines killing Osir and Lee and Nasset. Gotta check this out. Get up. I could have done that a while ago. Okay. Easy, easy. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to sprint. Okay. You said it. Yep. I'd rather do that than face those giant basilisks. Uh oh, this is gonna break, and this is gonna cause a. Oh, come on, buddy. Yep, we're. Oh, thousand years will sort of do that thing to you know infrastructure. Where's there? Okay. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. There's one.
Come closer. Good girl. Good. Good thing. Uh -uh -uh. Okay. Sneak around, sneak around. Let's not get the metal monster's attention. Because we know my luck with that. <laughs> Sound design in this game is incredible. Control console might be in there. Okay. Alright, yep. Just my freaking luck. Whoa. Alright, just getting my uh, horizon feet back up on, I think I'm um, doing better than I expected, sort of. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm gonna assume one of them is gonna survive and I'm gonna have to fight it. Oh. Or not. Do I have to climb up? The shadow's caught up in those cables. 
That definitely alerted them. Other side. Grab some stuff. Okay. Where do I go? Not up there. None of the casters are working. Head on up here. Up there. Ooh. No, it's not. There we go. Took a while to figure out, but I love a good puzzle. Okay, that was not what I expected. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh. Here we go. Oh boy, they're gonna chase me, right? Anything here to grab? Any uh, artifacts besides uh, ancient supply boxes? <sighs> Should be. Oh. Break if 
appreciate it. Bye bye. Yep, that's every person's dream. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, come on. Let's get down, alright. Okay, which way do we go? Here? We do the whole jumpity jump, hoppity hop. Right, up here? No. Mm. Okay. I thought it was like, uh, did I end up in the same place again? Mm. There we go. Oh. Almost there. There's the other connector. Are those still explosive? Uh, okay. See, kids, this is what improvising gets you. Yes, you get your results, but it like a genie's wish. S another outcome is on the hori on the uh, horizon. Pun intended. Ooh. This is going to be a quick time event, isn't it? Oh, oh this is not going to be fun. I bet. Oh no. One of the snake thingies is fireproof. Okay, all right. Oh, come on, bro. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm bad at dodging.
Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Get it. Get it how you can, my guy. There we go. Rest in peace. <laughs> How do we spend our skill points? Finally. Finally. Ooh, uh, I'm a very... Choose a skill and hold X. Okay. We're learning that first. Wait, what was that? Okay. So, strike silent. Approach any enemy. We already know that. Ooh, I definitely want this. Oh, not enough skill points. Okay. Alright. See. Inventory wise. What else we got? Okay, that's the uh, compendium of sorts. Right. Mm. Sorry, I get a little bit uh, obsessively compulsive with the things when the uh, exclamation point is up. Especially when it's lore related stuff, but uh, yeah. Okay. Data center should be straight ahead. I guess we're all gonna have to find another way there. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. Is there anything in here? Yeah, that was a that was a fun little boss battle. You know. But hey, damn! I mean, seriously, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna head back up out. Yeah. 
is this? Okay, I get it. Like, um, am I going the wrong way? Probably not. Stage. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Ugh. Text log data corruption. Partial. Data corrupted. On to the matter of Dr. Dalgar. He's been a valuable member of Far Zenith for years. Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesman to preserve anonymity for the rest of us. But with all new members we recruited to increase funds for the Odyssey. Expedited uh, ed Odyssey's expedited timeline. There are simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made. Let's face it. Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. He'll retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off. But that doesn't mean that his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate, to generate a digital puppet, giving us the means to data corrupted. That's how it sounds in my head. But yeah, oof. Talk about corporate America, am I right? Even its ghost still uh, creeps into the uh, sphere of the uh, post-apocalypse. What, what? Okay, I thought I... Hmm. Thought I missed something. Wait, do these things have? Nope. For some reason, those glowing hologram things don't have any uh, readable data on them. Probably because they're just like switches or in terms of uh, game design, like a way to lead you to the path of uh, where to go. This is sort of like the cave where Aloy was... Uh, Born or lived. It's here. Gaia version six point nine. Initializing. Hello. Hi. When did he turn into Matthew McConaughey? Oh, 100% McConaughey vibes. He didn't have this in the first part. I mean, the first part of this gameplay. He was just a normal tech bro. Now he's just straight up McConaughey. Oh, naughty, naughty. Actually, no, this may be a Woody Harrelson type. Maybe a mix. Yeah, True Detective Season 1. Hashtag RIP. <laughs> that was a good show. Goddess. 
for what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Got it. Far off. I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world. Things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone. Farl, I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Farl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <sighs> okay, I... <sighs> I guess it's worth a shot. <laughs> We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... <laughs> I've got a better idea. <laughs> Alright, we're back here again. Well, back here from the uh, first game. Yeah. Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. <laughs> In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murat, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. A shame. That makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. So we're not yet in the Forbidden West. We're in the Midwest still, technically. Come. Just like I'll show you. Ooh, someone's in trouble. happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. <laughs> One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed and from Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I'm sure I got the connection to that. If this isn't the epilogue yet, this is one hell uh, epilogue. If this isn't the uh, actual Forbidden West yet, this is Star Wars again. This 
This is definitely one heck of a prologue. Rule one of modern RPGs. If it's bright yellow, or uh, maybe green, sometimes red, but usually game game developers go for a okay. Game developers go for the more welcoming color. Yeah, usually follow those. Okay, going on up. Okay, okay. There we go. How to cross over to the spire. It's, uh... <laughs> Should be able to get up there now. Like we're gonna climb this whole thing? Oh boy. Now shades of metal gear. It's like he tricked me. It transmitted something through the spire. If I can figure out where he sent it. Okay. Track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. We'll see. Oh. Thank goodness, I'm not climbing that. Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? You said it. Access lift activated. Okay. Engaging maintenance configuration. Everything is opening up. Wonder what the cards will make of this. There we go. Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You 
you're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't team one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, how good the French are at it. Yes. Well, then the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Classic Lance Riddick. Double cross move in a sequel? Oh man. Check out for some uh, some artifacts before I. Uh... Oh Lord, know what I found. Machine carcasses, remnants from the Battle of the Light. They were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled, but we pushed through. I thank you for the thanks. Could be better. Meridian owes you a debt it can never repay, Savior. <gasps> Bucket heads. Ooh. Savior. Hope all is well with you. Nice. Yeah, these knocking these things out is really really fun let's I think I could I get an achievement for destroying a certain number like it's an Easter egg for sure come on let's check what's happening out here. Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the mm. defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but <laughs> that's just a piece of scrap now. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. Guess I should be flattered by the statue. I am so getting a full flown. Especially when my job's only half done. Looks like a memorial. Born one out. Honoring those who fell in the battle of the nope. Guess I found enough lore. You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few have seen the tower change from the river. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. 
That's it. Under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant rite of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. The Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? Wait a minute. Be quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. <laughs> Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Lose it. Ganasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Sick. Really? Must you? Try it on. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Yo, shout out to Ashley Birch for doing uh, with the face capture when she... Uh... Yeah, the the facial uh, expression she made when uh, when she was given the headpiece and then she just put it on. Yeah, that's that's my, that's the same expression I have when somebody gives me a compliment. I'm like, um, okay. Literally, I have no idea what to do when somebody compliments me. I think it's because of my Catholic upbringing. Why? Uh, it feels weird to be told something nice. Because you're always expecting something weird in return. Ooh. Uh-uh. No. No cat calling. Hmm. Oh, the... Uh, the... Queen Masari. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Ganon. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman, I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. <laughs> we owe you our lives, champion. We'll do, kid. Will not we'll do. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. What up, bud? There, the workbench. Sweet. Master override installed. Plus, with it, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. 
but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I have- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. <laughs> you can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Carja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Abad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command over the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to Uther and Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress. Yeah, that's code for uh, if she wants to be a unicorn for these two. If I can't get in trouble, at least... 100%. Okay, time to talk to the Sun King. Very good. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. Tanakh territory. I'm sorry, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce, in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say, years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asuram, the Nuk, and Nora suffered greatly. Resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Baron Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. Huh. 
How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics needed during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Lake. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Prashad, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? Oh, no, not in this case. Prashad is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands, and has been held ever since. Whoa. Cousin Bashav, how long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do. I think he married somebody in the Tanakh, then he just doesn't want to go back because, you know, I will. culture clashing and uh, tribal wars and such. Anyone looks happy? Well, you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me, but I find I'm always trying to make them into someone that they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When anyone comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Aloy has a lot of simps. Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Oh my god. I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought a little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? Bro. And stay. But long enough for us to spend time. Get to know each other properly, perhaps. <sighs> Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us, it's not important. At least, n not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. I think that was a bit tougher than the uh that that robot snake battle. Uh. Oh, that. Okay. Well, that 
that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up. Bounce. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sunbeam. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. That was a weirdly suggestive shot. But I'll let it slide. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky Aloy. Yeah, I'm getting uh, Red Dead vibes, straight up. Gosh, this is just beautiful scenery. Definitely one of my favorite uh, prologues for a video game. Okay, what? What was that? And there it is! Horizon Forbidden West. And folks, that was it. That was the premiere episode for On The Worst playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. Yes, that was the first two hours of gameplay, aka the prologue. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I had playing it. Uh, so, if people are wondering uh, if 
they've noticed any technical difficulties throughout this. Uh, I apologize greatly, but I'm doing my best to learn from it, uh, especially since this is my, my rookie season, uh, namely with this game. So it's a lot of trial and error and learning new stuff, and I'm not using that an excuse, but as an excuse, but I just like to uh, be upfront with all of you and tell you folks that... Uh, yeah, I'm, you could definitely tell I'm a little bit green behind the what, uh, green behind the uh, ears when it comes to all of this. But yeah, uh, for the next uh, few episodes, expect some sort of similar audio quality-wise. Again, uh, I I could uh, I could say that the video quality is solid, but the uh, audio is not so much. But luckily, I've learned from that, so. In the newer episodes, expect much, much better audio quality. But gameplay-wise, video-wise, you guys are going to expect top-notch quality stuff. And especially, come on, editing. If you notice that, uh, yeah, this, the audio is clunky. I apologize to the people at Gorilla who made this game who worked so hard. I mean, it's still some of it still came out great, but I, again, I apologize to them. And especially y'all for watching. But thank you for hanging around, sticking for this long. And uh, yeah. Episode 2 is going to drop tomorrow, so that's fun. Uh, we will actually uh, enter the uh, edge of uh, the border from the old old world, quote unquote, to the Forbidden West. Uh, so, you know, new adventures are uh, approaching and the uh, pun intended, again, Horizon is uh, is right there and we are going to traverse the world with Aloy and figure all things out and figure out what's going on with this blight, what's happening. It's going to be you and me both, fam. We are going to stick through this, and if you do so, uh, you might see some uh, cool stuff happening along the way. You could even uh, check out my stream, which I have on twitch.tv slash on the worst. So you could check that out. I stream on Wednesdays and Fridays and my first official stream is happening this Wednesday Wednesday Hong Kong Philippine time Tuesday evening uh, US time so uh, look out for that one and if you haven't uh, like subscribe and uh, hit that notification and share uh, it would help me out a lot immensely and I would greatly appreciate that as much as I appreciate all of you for uh, sticking out this long with all the uh, clunky audio that came through Again, I apologize. I will do better. Uh, and uh, next few episodes, sorry, I recorded these in blocks, but this, I, in this one particular block, but the next one is going to be so different. You're going to tell the difference and how much better it's going to be. So uh, all in all, thank you, folks. And uh, yeah, wish you all the best. Uh, and uh, do come back all now. I'm trying to figure out a good <laughs> tag to say bye. So I'm just going to say peace out.